To create an image gallery, the first thing we will do is create a web panel object where we will locate the gallery. For that, we will create the object. Now we go to the toolbox and drag a control of the image gallery type to the web panel form. We can see that with this action, we also created a structured type of data called images data. And Genexus has also automatically created for us two variables where we will be storing the collection of images and the items selected. To load the collection from the data of products, we will create an object of the data provider type. Now we drag the structured data type over the data provider and we have the structure ready for loading. Our ID here will be the product ID. The photo of the product will be the image. And the same for the thumbnail. And for the caption, we will set the product description. After saving this, we will move on to modifying certain properties of the user control image gallery. We will change the width, the height, the way we want it to appear on screen, the height of the thumbnails, and lastly, we go to the events for invoking the data provider for the collection to be loaded. Let's delete this example code. We then save the results and run the application. And here we have our image gallery. We just saw how we can create a functional and attractive image gallery in a very short time. Our next video will show how the user of the application can design data reports of his own.